The only fears that I kind of had were kind of all those what ifs, where it's like, what if I have to keep having brain surgery? What if this grows? What if he doesn't get it all out? And then at some point I realized, I'm like, I have to like really push control here because I can't control what's gonna happen that day. I can't control anything other than how I'm gonna react to this. And so I just stopped worrying about all of that at some point because I was making myself a little crazy. Deciding to tell my parents was the toughest part because if my mom was stable, it would have been easier. But because her tumor was growing and now we're in this really, really, really bad situation um, and her symptoms were getting really bad um, and she wasn't herself at all. We decided to wait as long as we could so that we could spare them too much time to think of all the what ifs and the feelings of fear and all of that. So we went into their room and we told them, and I was like, before we say anything, I just want you to know everything's fine and we're gonna be all good. And I want you to understand, mom, what you have. And so I went through what her condition is. I said, you have a brain tumor that's cancerous, but there are brain tumors that are not cancerous. And we just discovered that I have one. I said, but Dr. Black's gonna do the surgery and he's gonna get it out and we're gonna be normal and everything's gonna be fine. I really prayed every night, I'm like, please God, give me the strength that my mom had, because she gave us that gift. When she went in, she went in with a smile, she came out with a smile. And so it was like, I have a good example. You ready? Any questions? Okay. Wait, I love you. Love. Happy birthday. Love you. Love. Thank you. Love you. Love. I like you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>